Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome back to Siberia 3. And yeah, unfortunately we have to start by addressing the sad news that Benoit Sokal, the creator of Siberia, passed away a few days ago. Yeah, he died from a long-term illness at the age of 66, so yeah, still pretty young. And I'm still working all, at, all, all this time and still producing stuff. Yeah, I don't know how that will affect the development of the next entry in the series, but regardless if his team manages to finish the game or not, it's still very sad that he won't be around to see it completed. Yeah, I can only hope that more people get to experience his amazing works. Yeah, so his first game, the Amazon The Explorer's Legacy, is available on GOG and, and Steam. And his uh, the Siberia Trilogy... It's available on GOG, Steam, and on the Switch, which is where I'm playing right now. So yeah, go, go, go check it out. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to continue our adventures with Kate Walker. We just arrived at the town of Baranor, which is, has an abandoned amusement park and may or may not be flooded with radiation and filled with abandoned automatons. So yeah, get, get the feeling you're going to switch... Switch to a Fallout game. <laughs> mm. See, everything looking good, sounding good. Hey, Berkeley. Oh, yeah. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, we still also have have to address the issue of the U call being stuck in the in the in the ship. Uh, have to gotta let let him out somehow. Miss Kate Walker better? Yes. I think. Are we at now dusk? Uh, Miss Kate Walker should talk to Kirk. Him in front part of boat. Yeah, we heard only bad things about this place, so we're gonna we're in for quite quite Kirk, the perilous adventure. What's going on? Baranur Park. Yikes! Very very spooky already. Baranur, but the monster's attack knocked us off course. Then we ran aground here. That sign of the spirits. They want to be sure Yukul Caravan follow sacred path like always. Migration must continue. Spirits show right route. <laughs> Before we even think of getting on the road again, we need to figure out how much radiation there is around here. If we get exposed to too much, none of us will see the end of this journey. That's not the only problem, Kate Walker. We ran aground opposite the beach, and the ostriches are stuck in the hold. We have to move the crystal forward before we can open the doors. Yeah. We'll take care of that as soon as I found a way to measure the radioactivity here. Until then, nobody is to leave the crystal. And yeah, we also lost our captain. <laughs> he sacrificed himself so we could get away. Oh dear. Hello. Prime, honor, great memory of the Captain Talk Too Loud, for always. Captain Talk Too Loud? <laughs> well, at least they, they say he'll honor his memory. Well, how are you supposed to... Hey, what are you doing off the ship? Get out of there. Oh, Captain. 
Yeah, he, he was in the lifeboat that was there. <laughs> well, how? Yeah, how are we supposed to measure? Hey, look at that! It's a, it's a Yuki. <laughs> Captain sacrificed for Miskit Walk and tribe. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't actually see him get sacrificed, so I'm not quite sure if, if he was going to show up later or not. But for now, yeah. I have to assume that he did. Very, very sad for Captain Talk Too Loud. <laughs> did he... Did he have a radiation measuring equipment on board or something? Let's check his quarters. Something down here now. Maybe downstairs. Anything useful over here? Bayert la gun, Miskatwalk. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Yeah, I, I doubt there'll be any instruments like that. Wait, can I turn on the ship? Oh. Why would I need the key to the ship? Hmm. Okay, let's check downstairs. There, there was a little desk. Maybe there's something in the drawers or something where, where we got the, the lamp last time. I might have to leave the boat just just to look around for any radiation detectors. Wait, what? Oh, that's the yeah, that's the hold. Where everyone is. Everybody's fine. Phew. Ostriches must be all impatient and hold. <laughs> okay. Anything here? Workbench too high. And yeah, for you, I guess. Yeah, I guess there's nothing on the ships. Gonna have to step outside. I mean, this the accident with the nuclear power plant did happen like 20 years ago, so... Who knows if that was enough for any radiation to go down to a little safer levels. Too I dangerous if I can't detect the radiation. Well, how am I supposed to detect the radiation? You have to find a way to see the radiation, Kate Walker. Huh. Wait, we never got in here. I still can't go in here. Spirits pardon tribe and save from monster. Hmm. Find a way to see the radiation. I'm... Yeah, I think it's locked. Yeah, now I now I, now, I, saw, I now, now I see a little tiny little padlock there on the on the door, but I'm guessing the key that I have don't won't fit. Will of spirits has been accomplished. How, do, how am I supposed to see the radiation? Hmm. Any ideas? Ostriches are good, Miss Getwalk. Hmm. I don't see any different anything different on the ship, so
Bad it. spirits everywhere in Berenor. Want visit park? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I missed something downstairs. What do they call the? Yeah, maybe there may be a Geiger counter around here somewhere. Are we supposed to improvise? <laughs> Use something else as a Geiger counter? Show me on the screen. Is it glitching? <laughs> Kinda. Mm. Can't quite make out. I mean, if we have. Uh, Material that reacts to radiation and it and it shows in it shows up as inert. Oh, hey, scarp scene. Welcome to Siberia three. This this one uses all three D graphics and not just pre rendered backgrounds. It's actually not this is actually not a retro game. I mean, this came out in two thousand seventeen, so not that old, but. It is continuing uh, an old series. I'm curious to see what what happens to the main protagonist. Wait, something down here. Hmm. Right now I'm a little lost as to what to do, but that's how it. Yeah, that's how it goes with adventure games. You always gotta keep an eye out. I mean, yeah. Now that I remember, now that I think about it, this game does have that thing where objects don't become available until you actually need them. So, yeah, I may have seen something that I need, but not not being able to use it yet. So yeah, I gotta. Gotta walk around all over the ship looking for it. Even if I saw it before, doesn't matter. I mean, I got the key for, to the ship, but I haven't seen anything locked so far. And I cannot go upstairs. Oh, what's the story behind Siberia? Well, this. A lawyer called Kate Walker, she went to a town called Valadilene to secure a, a contract to a toy company uh, that wanted to buy out a manufacturer of automatons. After, but unfortunately, the the main the, the owner died, and she there was a an heir called Hans Voroberg, but he wasn't at the town, so. We kind of had to go on a journey to find this heir, so had to have him sign the contract. But uh, Kate Walker went on so many adventures that even after she eventually found him, she wanted to keep going on, on this journey on this weird mechanical train with a, an automaton that was sent to find Hans Voroberg. That was the yeah that was the plot of Siberia One, and then in Siberia Two. She decided to join uh, Hans Voroberg on his journey to find a lost island of Siberia where apparently mammoths still existed. He was obsessed with mammoths throughout his life. And so she promised to help him reach that island. Even though that meant kind of abandoning her, her previous life, her family and friends and career. 
and yeah, at the end of the second game, she managed to, to find this island and helped Hans reach it. And then, yeah, in this one, she... I mean, it is, it is the plot of two other games, so yeah, a lot of stuff happened. And in this one, she was uh, lost in the snow. She started out lost in the snow and was found by this tribe of... of I don't know if you'd call it Inuit. Oh wait, there's something here. Is this the Geiger counter? The level of ambient radiation is indicated here. There we go. But I need to be sure that the entire zone is safe. Hmm. Found, found the thing I needed. Uh, yeah, if we, we were... Yeah, I'm not sure if you, you'd call them Inuit. Uh, if that's just for people in northern Canada, but but yeah, these are nomadic nomadic uh, native people that lived in, in the Siberian wilderness. They found her and they are on this migration, sacred migration, that they need to go with their snow ostriches and now Kate Walker, I guess, to help repay her debt of, of them saving her life. She wants to help uh, help them get through it. Radiation goggles. Hmm. Oh, come on, no goggles left. Empty. Yeah, that's I guess that's the goggles that she wears in the in the in the box art there. Have I ever played Deponia? I don't know if I've ever I've heard of it, but I, no, I have not played it. Name kind of sounds familiar, but uh, I don't not sure if I've ever seen it. Wait, can I? Blocked. What? Blocked. Oh. Wait, there's a keyhole there. I've seen a lock like this somewhere before. Yeah, that's where I need the key. Looks like it fits most of the locks on board the crystal. Oh, you got it recently from a giveaway? But but yeah, is it a, is it an adventure game or something? Looks or? like it fits most of the locks on board the crystal. What genre it is, is it? Blocked. If I got to turn the key? Yeah, some of these, oh, some of these object interactions uh, aren't aren't really uh, that fun to to perform. Uh, kind of kind of pointless. Ooh. Oh, I got goggles that allow me to see radiation. Oh. Oh dear. Hmm, maybe that will allow me to wander around the radioactive areas, not... Oh, it's a point-and-click adventure with cartoonish visuals. Hmm, sounds interesting, I might... I might have to look it up. <laughs> yeah, a lot of old, old adventure games have... Uh, cult following there's always that one game that's a hidden gem that uh, some people saw it back in the day but then it got forgotten over time and then not many people know about it these days just like Siberia <laughs> pretty sure it was very popular when it was when it released originally but yeah nowadays not many people know about it Collections on sale. Nice. Uh, yeah, what are you doing here? I thought I said no one off the ship. Not working, please. Me stay close. All right. 
No more power. Or these are electrical plugs? Or what? No more power. Hmm. I may be able to tow the crystal using this tractor. Hmm. I just have to get to it first. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, like I said, now it's starting to feel like a Fallout game. <laughs> Abandoned Oscar. the Tomaton. Yeah, it looks just like Oscar. <laughs> Stupid of me. Oscar doesn't exist anymore, I know that. And all those automatons look alike. XZ2000? Does that mean my the heart piece that I have will fit him? Can I just stick it in it and he activate? I wonder. Your medallion. The heart. You know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. Hmm. Maybe if I could... Looks like the plate over the heart could be removed. But I, yeah, I'm probably going to need uh, the Voroberg, Voroberg key cross-shaped key to open it locked okay maybe I'll find one around somewhere around here And yeah, I kind of kind of wish that they addressed how she got this heart. I mean, feels like they retconned it from because in the last game she didn't have, she didn't have it. But uh, who knows? Maybe maybe the way this game starts is that she actually made it back to the Yukol village using the the ice arc, and then once they she got there, one of them said, "Hey, I found this piece on on the floor. It must have belonged to your automaton friend. You can have it." And then she left and got lost in the snow. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe she'll. I mean, she did claim to have lost her memory when, uh, once she woke up. So maybe she'll remember that. That that's what happens. Hmm? What's this? A lifeguard's hook. Telescopic, it looks like. Okay. Oh no! You know what adventure games are like. If you can pick it up, you you're gonna need it at some point. <laughs> Anything else here? No. Go here. No. Yeah, I really hope that this is not the snow is just regular winter and not a nuclear winter. <laughs> hmm. I go inside. The silence is very eerie. Oh, it makes it all the all the more clear that. There's likely no one here, but you never know. Ooh. Uh. 
get leaves everywhere. Is that a roller coaster? Yeah, very spooky. But yeah, seems like all the radiation cloud is all around the park and not inside it, so we should be safe. Is that an astronaut without its head? Yeah, very, very eerie. I don't think I'd want to go like, urban exploring like that in abandoned places. Precisely because you never know if the place is truly abandoned or not. And Also, I'd, I would never want to go alone because if anything happened, uh, I wouldn't be able to call out for help. That so what does it sound? Uh, can we go inside the belly of this astronaut? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just the wind. It's just something that's rusted. Swinging in, in the wind. Ooh. Okay, got a big place to explore here. Let's start out, I guess, going next around the entrance. I mean, still gotta. Still got to find a way to get to that cart and use it to tow the, the ship. Okay. There's a puppet show or something? Marionette show, maybe? Hmm. So yeah, let's start from... That's the first area here. Gotta be something useful in here. Mm. I mean... A lot of people might have died here, but I don't think this place is technically haunted, but still... Yeah, there was a, a nuclear reactor accident with a power plant that left this place flooded with radiation and, and the ship was supposed to help and the, the automatons were supposed to help uh, find survivors and the ship was supposed to help get them out but then the sea monster appeared and the, sh the captain was afraid to go out and see anymore so yeah, if any survivors got were left they were left to. They were left uh, twenty years ago, and yeah, I don't know that they survived or mutated or whatever. <laughs> Yikes! Okay. Hammer. Fog. Okay. The Vorlberg Crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. Ooh. The Vorlberg Crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. Uh, but can I not open this? Is it locked? Ooh. We got a map. Where are these numbers all? 1, 25, 40, 5, 15 plus 25. Oh, that's 30, but... Or 40, I mean. Uh... Hmm. This is 1, 2, 3 over there. Okay, let's... Let me see, where am I? I... 
I believe, yeah, 2 is where I am, the entrance. And then, yeah, 25 is that weird thing with a big mouth. Number 1 would be to its right. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna need that information. Maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should uh, take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. The modern way of taking notes in these in these games. Just take a picture of the screen. <laughs> Just because I'm playing retro games doesn't mean I have to do it in all all the all the everything old school. <laughs> okay. I should be able to separate the car from the cart. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, it was like that when I found it. <laughs> Welp. Another rundown automaton. Hmm. Wait, can I do something? Another rundown automaton. Yeah, how am I supposed to drive this thing? And do I have to activate this automaton or can I drive it myself? Uh huh. Well, I reached the cart, but I still gotta find a way to get the hooks on the back to reach the the, the ship hmm All right, why don't we follow the cables the power cables to see where they go one of them goes here the other goes here uh oh Oh, this is broken. Hmm. We're going in here. Yeah, am I, am I going to have to reactivate this part by turning on all the power before I can use anything? Ooh. Something's wrong. Yeah, what is going on here? Nothing. Something must be missing. I mean, I do have a cog that I've found, but I'm not sure if it'll fit here. No. It looks like there's something. Yeah, something that would fit on a triangular the triangular shaft. Uh, I mean, thank, fr frankly, it looks like a lot of stuff is missing here. But, huh. huh. Maybe it was that. Without electricity, I won't be able to do anything. Yeah, it looks like I will have to restore power to this place. Okay. Hmm. Anything useful in here? <laughs> I think I've only been to a f on a Ferris wheel a couple times <laughs> entire life. <laughs> I mean, as far as r rides go, they're not that exciting, but I guess it's still fun to... Just see see the entire place from ab above. On the other hand, I also don't really like Ferris. Uh, don't really like uh, roller coasters. I don't. I don't like the the feeling of when you oh, on your gut when you drop. You know, 
Some people think it's yeah, it's very fun, but no, I just I just feel bad. And just hope to end it soon. So yeah, I'd rather not go on ro roller coasters. That that feeling of your stomach going up uh, just just bothers me. So. Okay. Well, I guess I, I would prefer to go on a, a Ferris wheel than over a, a roller coaster, even even if the roller coaster is more exciting. But yeah. Hmm. Anything I missed here? Okay, I got a little box that I can't open, apparently. I got a cog that I don't know where to put. Okay, I guess I there's uh, somewhere else I can go in this park. As long as there are new places to explore, I'm still not stuck yet. So. Gotta make, yeah, in these games, what really makes you get stuck is, I mean, two things. Not one is missing an item, not or missing a, a thing that you can activate, not, not seeing everything you can do in a game in the game, and two is not understanding how something works. Like if you need to do something in a certain order for it to work, but even if you have all the information, you might all the items, you might not know how to get them to wor work properly but yeah so far when i when i got stuck in this game has mostly been missing something this but one is still legible there were a couple of times where i didn't know how something worked like the clock last time but uh, uh, i i put that uh i'll say that the fault in lies in the in the interface because i did solve the puzzle i kind of knew what i had to do i just couldn't figure out how to press the right button to do it. Somebody really went all out. Yeah, this number two over here. Anything useful on this bench? Yeah, this is on the little map here. Let me check out. Yeah, this is where the there was number two on the map. Not sure. Not sure what that means yet. Anything over here? Maybe once I find uh, whatever powers this place, I have to activate them in order. Is this does this mean the roller coaster? And uh, does number one mean number one mean the the Ferris wheel maybe? And then number three means that big area. How do I get out of here? Huh? Oh, there. <laughs> Let me find the stairs for a moment. Okay, let's check out the... Okay, I've been there. Let's check out that big, the big area inside the, the mouth of the, whatever that place is. Wait, there might be something else here as well. Yeah. Okay, no, it doesn't look like I can go inside here. Contaminated zone. Yeah, better not not head over there. All of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Emma? Even if I take them out of the of the ship. Yeah. No. no I just noticed that there's this filter, I guess, on the on the screen. There's, there's you can see the this these cracks on. 
glass? Is it, does this happen every time I wear the, the goggles, I wonder? Can you see it on the corners? A couple of... A couple of scratches. Hmm. What's inside? Maybe we'll find out what what the where that sound is coming from. Yeah, now you can clearly see the the graphic the the overlay on on the image. Yeah, can I can I remove the glasses? I wonder. You can absorb them. Okay, here. Got some creepy music, which, yeah, I don't know if it's better or worse than silence, but still. Completely clogged. Huh. Okay. R really nothing here? Ugh. Besides this automaton. The yeah, I can't help but think that it looks eerily like just a f frozen person. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, there are no actual dead bodies here, but there are bodies, uh, mechanical bodies, that still give an eerie feel to the place. Hmm. Can't go that way. Oh, maybe the sound was from these swings. Okay. I go around that place, I wonder. Entry prop prompt showing up through the wall. Ooh, what is this? Metal shank. Hmm. Who could have done that? Huh. Someone opened a hole in the fence? Yeah, now I'm just kind of fearing if there if there are people here, what are they like, and are they going to be angry at anyone showing up? Ang angry that they were left here to die? Eesh. Where can I go in here? Oh, I guess this, yeah, this is the back side of, of that door, so I, I don't have to open it. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think I prefer the, the creepy music over <laughs> silence and the rusted noises. What are those Dal Daleks? <laughs> are they like bumper cars or, or something? But that you go inside. Anything in here? Okay. I'm finding a lot of items, but I haven't still haven't figured out. Where to use them, any of them. Hmm. Okay. Don't think I can go up here, but mm, yeah. 
These are, are yeah, these are just slides. Uh, oh, can I go up here? I'll just go right through the, the stairs, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess the the lack of polish in this game kind of does make it feel like a an old school game, even even though it isn't. <laughs> like the the blurry textures look make it look like a, a PS2 game. Which yeah, if, if you if you're if you're used to playing old, older games, you you're not quite as bothered by these, uh, I guess. But yeah, I can imagine someone playing this nowadays, or someone playing this just as it got released, and noticing all these flaws. Okay, can I? Got a cog, a metal shaft, and a telescopic hook. The Vorlberg crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. Yeah, why can't I open this? Oh. Okay, clearly I, I can use a, an object here, but. Impossible. Maybe I don't have the right objects. Not a chance. No way. Well, can I pick pick this lock? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Hang on, let me see if I can go a little further beyond the Ferris wheel because the map kind of made it seem like there was something on that side. Can I not go here? Go around it. Oh, I guess not. There's a fence. Hmm. I'll just make sure I'm not missing anything. But yeah, if, if you've never heard of the Siberia series of Scarp Scene, I really recommend you try it, try it out. It's, I mean, I got it. I got it on Switch for very, very cheap. So maybe if it ever goes on sale again, really worth worth the money. I think I got it almost for almost a dollar. Both both games. Are... <laughs> Another rundown automaton. It's also available on GLG. So yeah, if if it ever goes on sale, if you wanna, if you're not sure if you wanna check it out or not. Yeah, I can't go down there. Hmm. Okay, let me go outside again and see if... Now that I have these items, maybe... Wait, hang on, let me, let me examine the metal shaft. Uh, observe. Little shank. Oh well, yeah, just a... Just a metal rod. Can I do anything here? Okay. I mean, I haven't seen anything that was out of reach yet, where I'd need. 
Well, maybe though, yeah, maybe those power cables that were dangling in the, in the very beginning, but like she said, if there's no power coming to them, there's no point in getting them right now. Or can I use the power of the ship to power power the 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 park? I wonder. Yeah, I heard the Switch version had some uh, performance issues. Maybe that the load times is one of them. Sometimes the camera gets a little choppy, so I don't I don't know if that is better in the PC version of this game. Okay, let me see if there's anything I missed out out here. Yeah, we've been there. Go there. Ooh, so quiet. Too quiet. Okay, can I do anything with this this guy yet? I'm betting I'm Betting the key to this guy is in that box. Impossible to open without a key. I gotta get a key to the box to get a key to the automaton. And maybe, maybe if I activate him, he'll help me out. Use the telescopic hook. Oh, I see those three, three connections. Miss Catwalk, need some help? Uh, sure. Yes. Can you connect this cable to the crystal? Maybe that way I'll be able to restore power to the park. Yeah, just no as problem. I was thinking. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your help, Mr. Baruth. Yeah, see those... Did you happen to have those three, three little connections on the side? Electric outlets? Mm hmm. Just what I needed. Okay. Counting on you. I'm just gonna stand there? <laughs> or do I do I have to do anything? Go light boat again. Use time to connect strange magic rope. Oh, I gotta turn on the, the chip, of course. Uh, come on, get on the ramp. But I don't have the key anymore, what? Do I have to get it back from the goggle machine? Yeah, the, that 
that weird, weird filter isn't uh, present here anymore, I mean, even though I'm still wearing the goggles. Kind of weird. Okay, I can't do anything here. Huh. Okay, maybe I don't have to turn on the key. I just have to flip the lever to the motors on the on the bottom part. Well, let me check upstairs just in case. Maybe someone someone put the key back. Do I not have the key? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Bayert Lagan, Miss Catwalk. Bayert Lagan to you too. See if just flipping that that switch will get things going again. That's the that's the, the switch I flipped to turn off the motors when we were being attacked. Something else on the display. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it worked. Still, still creepy to play this place, even though there's more light. Yeah, now if there are any survivors here, we just alerted them of our presence. <laughs> yeah. We can operate some stuff like that that ferris wheel thing she ne she says she needed power Okay. Thanks for your help. What happened? Are you what? Rope connected? Whoa. Okay. But next time you warn Baruth first before putting magic back. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Baruth. Whoops. Okay, Miss Ketwalk. No problem. Baruth tough guy, like very old mammoth. <laughs> yes, he electric electrocuted himself. Yikes. Maybe I shouldn't have asked him to help me. Let me up. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no, 
At least uh, not with all that wandering around I did, I know where everything is or how to get to all the places, so... I can reach the Ferris wheel in no time. Yeah, you know, the first thing you should do if you arrive in a new place is get yourself uh, lo you get your bearings right. You know where everything is. Get get a good layout of the place. And just check if anything happens. I do this. Okay. Better not get too too close there. Okay, to reach the ferris wheel, I gotta go around here. Still hearing the, I mean, still hearing the weird sounds, but I guess now that everything's working, it should have m more weird sounds, not fewer. Okay, let's see if this works now. Oh. <laughs> what happened to this the chain there? Okay. This switches gears or something? Or when? Yeah, the chain chain's going all over the place. Okay, surprisingly silent Ferris wheel. Hmm. Can't do anything else here. Maybe maybe I achieved something. <laughs> Not sure what, but uh... hmm. I mean, there was no indication that there was anything on any of the on of the pods. I, I guess I assumed that I needed to turn the ferris wheel a little bit to... Like if there was something on one of the pods I needed to get it down so I could reach it, but... I'm not sure. I don't see anything on any of them. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll have to come back later at some for at some point. Or yeah, will I have to use the Ferris wheel power to turn the to tow the cable, I wonder? Or can I Attach something to the Ferris wheel, and then it will like, pull the pull the ship in. Might that might be it? Okay. It doesn't look like I have to use any items. Oh yeah. I should be able to tow the crystal by attaching it to this winch. Well, 
He's stuck there. Oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it must feel weir weird for her after spending all that time controls. with Oscar. Okay, see ya, Scarp scene. Thanks I for dropping see. by. The automaton that controlled the tractor has to be connected to this pin, shaped like a Varlberg key, to start it. It's ingenious. Hmm. But I need an automaton in working order. Hmm. Well, there might be one sitting on a bench right outside. Ooh. What on earth is that? That looks like a key that would fit the tiny box inside. <laughs> yep. It has the Vorobird crest on it. Everything's falling into place. Yeah, this game is not that hard in terms of the this puzzle logics, as long as you don't miss anything. Not that hard to figure out what to do. It's very appreciated. <laughs> okay. Although, yeah, these little interactions, I think. Oh, cute. My, I do have I do have a little box that looks like that. I think it was originally a, a jewel box, but uh, a jewelry box. But I I use it as a toolbox because it has these levers. There's these platforms that go outside. <laughs> Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Aha. Number 10 wrench. Hey, we get some music now. Hi there. Yeah, what's going on? Why are you here? Kirk, what are you doing here? As you were able to explore the area without being harmed, I authorized the Yukos to go ashore. I have to show you something, Kate Walker. Okay. What is it? Is it important? Come on, Miss Kate Walker, come, okay? Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you calls can take this route. Uh, Listen, but I, yeah. I do understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate Walker saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. Yeah. But... Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. Do you think there may be another route? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. As soon as I can, I'll try to find another path. Until then, please stay in the safe zones and be careful. Okay? Yeah. Not do anything rash. Migration must start again as soon as possible. Hurry, Kate Walker. I doubt that our pursuers will give us the chance to rest long. Well, yeah, there's... there are people out after us. That, that general, I me, mean, maybe if the Efimova person won't be after us anymore, but that general will still want to go after us. Bartla. For some reason. Still not sure why he's after Kate Walker. Good, very long if we must stop so often. I know why the detective is after us, but not not the general. When the right can leave again. When it's safe. <laughs> okay, at least they're having fun. Hey, look at that. 
One of them is riding there. <laughs> okay. Park maybe was very fun before. Now park very, very dark. Oh yeah. Very creepy. Travel still very long. Tuk tuk sugar. If park was still open, old bad boss is still not yet for Yuko's visit. Yeah, I guess it's a it's a blessing that the the park park is abandoned. No 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 one racist person to tell you to get out of the property. Nobody here, Tuk Tuk. Yep. Let's see if we... Are we going to get Oscar back, I wonder? Or is, if he, is he just going to have the same memories, but not quite the same personality as Oscar? <laughs> we'll have to see. Is he going to say, hey, Kate Walker, what, what am I doing here? Use Vorobberg wrench. Oh, yeah, he already has a heart, I just have to replace it, I guess. Oh, it's pumping? Oh, no. Okay. No way. Okay, Let's see if that works. Uh, I guess I connect something to this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think overall these little interactions are kind of a detriment to the game. It would be better if I could just press a button and and do the, do the action. Hmm, is this a button? I wonder. Or it's blocking the opening. Uh. Okay, can I use use the same tool? Yeah, I mean, the, it looks like a Vorlberg wrench. So. I mean, there have been games that also use this kind of interaction where you have to, like, a PC game where you remove the mouse or the... to open doors, open drawers, open chests, like the the games from uh, frictional games, like Penumbra and Amnesia, but they've been more consistent, I guess. And this, this one doesn't always use the same type of action for things, and, and yeah. I remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. I guess it's tricky to get that stuff right. So if you're not going to get it right, better not <sighs> to not use it at all. Now I just have to find the right key. I mean, I could have picked up all the keys in the little box, but sure. But yeah, I'm hoping that the next game, if it gets completed, doesn't use these interactions anymore, or, or maybe uses them, them better. What was that? You should be using the roller coaster in this in this park. Even if it still works, the place is still very rusted, so not would not be safe. I mean, the new game already from the screenshots already looks better than this one, so they might have, they might be putting more resources into into it. Hmm. 
How on earth did that train car get here? Yeah, well, it looked like there was someone riding it. And this one has number three on it. Um, um. Wait, I, I just said it was not safe. What? What am I doing? Uh. Oh dear. Did I mention I don't like roller coasters? <laughs> Nothing interesting here. Am I gonna use it to just look around? Oh dear. There's radiation everywhere. Yeah. possible to stop nice view but not much else is it possible to stop at this that location? needle must be connected to the mechanism spring hmm well that little map said 15 plus 25 does that mean uh, if I put this at 40 I will will stop at at the place inside one way to find out Uh. Wait, what? Okay. It looks like these holes were made on purpose, but what for? Hmm. Put something in the holes. Oh, I thought that was much longer. Okay. seems to show if the mechanism spring is up or not. Okay, hmm. I can put it up. And then falls right back down. What's the point of using these if I can't turn? <laughs> if I put it up and then put it down. Nothing. I must have forgotten something. Yeah, I gotta wind it first, but. Huh. Can't really put the metal metal thing on the bottom after I. Uh, after I wind that wind it up okay, What if I do this there you go, okay now I can uh... Okay Let's See if this works I think I might stop too soon. Yeah. Maybe I gotta count down 
40 from 50. Which means I'll... There's no pin on number 10, so... Oh yeah, maybe I'll just pay attention where the where the needle is. Where I, when I reach the place I need to stop at. Uh, yep, right at 10. Okay. I figure it out. Put it all the way back and then put this on 15. There we go, that should do it. I'm not sure why there's this hole here, but we'll see. That marking between 40 and 45 is means uh, this high speed area. Like you can't stop there because of the inertia. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, a little too much. Or maybe not. Nine. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I needed to put it on that little hole, to stop at exactly the right place. If I remove the rod, the cart spring will be freed up, and I should be able to move again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get out from here. Okay. This counter seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. Okay. One last time. Trees just two D sprites. Wait, wait, come on. There you go. <laughs> this missed two. I mean, there's already is a miss two, so w this would be like a missed six. There's a miss five already. So. I mean, I am used to missed puzzles, so this shouldn't be a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, we weren't able to get inside there because it was blocked, but maybe coming in from the opposite the upper side we should be able to explore this structure I mean there have been a couple missed games with roller roller coaster like scenarios huh. okay maybe am I supposed to just huh I might need to get a second rod and then take out that one. Maybe maybe once it has no more inertia I can I can put it on this on the on the other one. Yeah, I can't I can't put it while I'm while I'm moving. Yeah, there's gotta be a second metal rod that I can pick up. Okay, let's get out of here. You'll need to fix that the automaton. That was 
went on a little diversion here. The key, the little, little key that I have already would already fix fit. I didn't didn't really try it. Oh, well, next time I, after I'm done here, I'll I'll go back and see if if the little wrench would would also act as a metal rod. Just as I thought. No activation key. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. It needs a very specific key, I guess. Well, yeah, even though they, are all, they all seem to be cross-shaped. Can I still do something here with this? Hmm. Just as I thought. No activation key. Okay. Oh wait, what? this is new. Nothing that looks anything like an activation key. Ah. New but pointless. <laughs> oh yeah, looks like if I. Yeah, these numbers I, I guess mean uh, where where I would stop at. So twenty five plus fifteen, maybe it doesn't mean forty. Maybe it means stop at twenty five and then stop at fifteen. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll try. I'll try my idea. Seems sad, but still better than staying inside boat. Tribe should go back and take ancient root. Do do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much else to do besides try this. So. Ah. There's gonna be a little finicky. No, I don't know that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I insulted the stairs. <laughs> Somebody really went all out. I don't think there's anything useful here. Okay. okay. Will the little thing that I have also work? Let's try something else. Yeah, I tried this, but I also need to try this. That's not right. It doesn't work. Uh, I guess not. I guess I really do need a second rod. Huh. I mean, if I could cut it in two, it wouldn't be a problem, but... Hmm.
Oh. But yeah, this, is this a question of me not having a, an item or me not figuring out how the item works? You know, that's the, the two things that I mentioned that can get someone stuck in, in these games. Okay, let's look around, see if I can find another metal rod somewhere. Always a chance that many bad spirits here. <laughs> Always a chance that there's something on the ground that I just passed by. <laughs> well, at least the Yukal are having fun, even though, like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust these rusted equipment. Anything in this now that it's lit up. Okay. Yeah, is this astronaut missing a head or is it was never supposed to have a head in the first place? I mean I guess if it was missing a head it should be should have fallen down somewhere around here, right? Route to travel still very long. Maybe I should stop at the other locations just to see what happens. And it takes a long time though to, to go around. What the? Did I hear a, a Yuki barking? Completely clogged. Okay. Migration must start again as soon as possible. Working on it. Bartla. Bartla to you too. What? Very long as we must stop so often. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling we'll be stopping a lot more often throughout this journey. Ostriches cannot come out now. Yeah, I wonder if there's a, an activation key inside that, that area. And I gotta f figure out how to get there, to get the automaton outside operational, so he will help me tow the boat. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll find something in the other locations. If I stop at them. Come on, this entire workbench is not a single little piece of metal that I could use. Check the map again. Uh... Yeah, why why are these places just marked as like forty, twenty-five, five? This important for some reason. Oh, wait, I did I did stop at forty already, didn't I? There's nothing there. I think the only one I haven't... St and I did stop at 25. The only one I haven't stopped yet is the fifth one. Oops. Uh, worth the shot, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, why do I still have this Vorlberg wrench if I'm not going to use That's it not right. anymore? No. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well, let's see what happens. I think she's just gonna look at the ship and say, Oh, nice view, but nothing else. Then. Nothing interesting here. And yeah, I'm guessing I'm guessing the Ferris wheel is going to be used to tow the ship. Nothing interesting here. Yeah. There's a weird... Maybe... Maybe I can stop in other locations? I wonder where this passage... It's so weird that I couldn't leave... Uh... Okay. Can't, can't even look up? Come on. Uh, look up. Yeah, look at those textures. Uh, seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. Wait, what? Oh, hang on a second. I didn't stop at the place where I was before. Is that gonna offset the... the starting points? Yeah. I think that's how it works. There you go. So, if I'm like five behind, uh, I'm assuming I'm five behind. Am I? I'm actually not sure. So, if I stop at 15, I should be a little bit further behind as well. Which might be just enough. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's see if this works. like the thing reset. Okay, maybe it won't work. No, I'm, no, I'm not sure. I might have been on the wrong track there. Seems like seems like I stopped exactly at the same place. Oh. Yeah, I can't even look back. Stop here again. Okay, 
what if I stopped at, at one of these other locations, like 25 and 35? There might be something here. Because, yeah, I've stopped at, at 20... At, I stopped at... Wait, I didn't stop at 25. I stopped at 20 and then 15. Okay. Hmm. See if this works. I guess the, 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 the strange position of the of that one threw me off. I assumed it was in a different location because I needed to use it. I don't know. I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, it's not about putting something back. Hey, wait. Okay. What was that thing that went up? Stop at the same place. Oh well, I guess all only place left to try, only thing left to try is the number thirty-five. Not not really expecting much, but better to be thorough. Right now, the best, my best idea was to have a second rod that I could put in, in number 25 and, then, and also in number 15. And then once I reached the 25th location, I would take it out and the remaining screen would carry just enough to reach the, that passage, but not too much. Okay, I stopped here, but anything useful here? I guess if there was something useful, I'll, I'll be. It will be easier to turn my head. There's this thing blocking the area that just rises as soon as I arrive. It's kind of dangerous. What if it doesn't rise? <laughs> I'll be decapitated. Yeah, I just I just saw number four. Nice view, but not much else. Okay, let's see if I can find an another piece of metal. Yeah, this is not working. Either I find another piece of metal, or I find a way to cut the piece of metal that I have into two pieces. We'll go outside. I mean, I, I explored the inside, but...
Yeah, now I'm kind of wishing that this game allowed me to pick up objects ahead of time. I mean, that happens all the time in adventure games. You you come across an item that there's no reason why the character would pick it up or would why the character would know that it would need it, but you, you still pick it up anyway. <laughs> so uh, that isn't that unusual. For an adventure game character to have that kind of foreknowledge of what exactly they're going to need. Hey there. Miss Kate Walk, not worry much. You girls always careful of bad spirits. Okay. I guess I guess the only point of uh, detaching these cars and causing them to fall was just to clear the weight or the rail. Shaman say not be afraid of bad spirits. Try believe here quickly. Many bad men may soon arrive. Mm. Yeah, nothing. Oh, someone made a bridge here. Nanook metal, not good boiler maker. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on the ship. Mike, now return to park. You sure I've uh, explored it thoroughly? Maybe I missed something outside. So, Captain Loud, not come back? Be not. Seem like there's anything else up here. Hmm. Thought I had something when the cart didn't stop at the right place when it was 25. Wait, well, at the fifth one. But then it reset. Do you have anything I could use? No? I guess the activation key needed to have these... It's not enough to have to, for it to be cross-shaped. It needed to also have these uh, circles on the tips. I can't do anything without an activation key. Hmm. <laughs> the bolt is there. <laughs> with the tractor on the pier. Great! Hmm. XZ2000. Oscar's serial number. Hmm. Yeah, I looked everywhere. Hmm. Not funny. What are you doing there? Playing tag or something? <laughs> okay. Whatever passes the time, I guess.
I think, yeah, I think this is where I found the first piece of metal. That's why I keep coming back here, but... No, wait, this... Yeah, this is where I found the metal. The, the, the hook was it somewhere else. Yeah, if I could use these tools to... Nothing that looks anything like an activation key. To cut the piece of metal into two pieces. But, yeah, in order to use an object, uh... Can I... What? What scratched it like this? Wait, what? What scratched it like this? I'm not seeing any scratches, but... Huh. Can I put it somewhere that would cause it to break? I wonder. Nothing here, it seems. Can I use the ferris wheel to cut it? <laughs> Break it in two? Would be a weird use for a ferris wheel, but... At this point I'm desperate. Yeah, no place to use this subject. Yeah, no idea why I needed to flip this switch. Yeah, didn't I? Didn't I have a cog? Why I didn't ended up not using it? What? Oh wait. Yeah, where is the cog? Did I? Did I put it over here? Okay, that's kind of confusing. I mean, I assumed that the cog was supposed to go there, but I don't remember actually doing anything with it. Huh. Very weird. And yeah, due to, due to the unpolished nature of the game, I kind of there's always that that fear that did something glitch. Am, am I am I stuck because I'm not seeing something, or am I stuck because of the game's of the game not doing something that's supposed to? She said, "What caused it to scratch?" Any of these other wrenches would work. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Yeah, one of the screwdrivers there, I could put it uh, on the metal as a Vorlberg wrench. second okay I'm at, at the two hour mark 
I'm gonna, gonna give a few minutes to try out some things. I can't figure out. I'm gonna have to rely on 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 a hint or a guide or something. See if I can get uh, get unstuck. In here. Yeah, I don't mind. Don't mind. I, I don't mind spending a few minutes trying out things to get unstuck. But yeah, not not something like half an hour, <laughs> like last time. Is this place in here? Wait, what? Oh. I was like, where am I? <laughs> Just suddenly switched directions. Uh. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with this octopus structure, or squid structure, I should say. Yeah, I wonder, did that. Did that s giant squid always exist, or was that an, a mutation from the radioac radioactivity, <laughs> from the radiation of, the, of this ac nuclear accident? Yeah, I think if there was another metal shaft somewhere around here, I would have found, found it by now. The amount of time I've... Nobody here, Tuk -tuk. I've been running around the place. Yeah, maybe the scratches that she said were just meant... Maybe that rod just has always been used to stop the... Stop the roller coaster at that specific area. Nothing here. Try one more thing. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I can stop at. The fifth one, and then at the twenty mark. Instead of the twenty-fifth mark. Come on. Okay, it was still weird how the roller coaster stopped at the fifth mark before arriving, but then it resets. But maybe it reset because I put the wrong rod in the wrong place. And yeah, th yeah, this rod in the middle there is very suspicious. This hole in the middle of the area here. 
So I'm gonna try stop, stopping at number five, and then try stopping at here. That's my la my last hope. Wait, come on. Still scary. A thing rising like that. Looking like it's going to decapitate me. Okay, so I stopped here. I take out the rod and I go a little bit further, but not all the way to the end. see if this works. Yeah, it looked like it reset again. I don't think it's gonna work. What's the point of stopping here? Even if I did have a, a second metal rod, the map, the map sta states that I, I should use them both on number 25 and 15. Hmm. That I use them on 20. What's the point of this hole here? Like if the if the puzzle was meant to be solved like that with two metal rods, one in fifteen and another in twenty-five, and then I once I stopped at the twenty-fifth, I take it out and then I'll stop at fifteen. Yeah, very very strange. But yeah, if if the, the if I was meant to stop at 25 and then 15, then there would be no point in this number 20. <laughs> you might pass out soon. Yeah, I guess it's getting late over there. <laughs> yeah, good night. Yeah. No problem. Glad you glad you enjoyed it. And of course, this will the VOD will be available on YouTube and later. You wanna ch check out what you missed? Yeah, 
Why do I still have this horrible wrench if I'm not going to use it? <laughs> you just veg out while watching this. I mean, yeah, you don't have to do all the thinking. I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one having to figure out these puzzles, so you can just sit back and watch. Oh, hey, hey, profound badness! Thanks for the raid. Welcome. Ah. Not a chance. Is it a raid, Shadow Legends? <laughs> Internet joke. <laughs> Welcome. Playing point-and-click adventure games, so might not be as a uh, uh, high sp high action as whatever Profound Banners was playing. <laughs> but yeah, I do enjoy these these games here. Raid Seagull Legends. <laughs> even, they've, they've, even though these games may be a little slow paced, they're still pretty fun for me to watch, figure out. I mean, yeah, I guess at this point, if anyone wants to participate and and try and, and figure out it with me, I'd welcome it. <laughs> I'm currently playing Siberia 3. I'm a little stuck right at the moment, so. <laughs> You have to bear with me, but yeah, I do enjoy a lot, of, a lot of retro games. But even though this isn't technically a retro game, but it's continuing an old series that I've been a fan of. And yeah, I do, I do play a lot of point-and-click adventures and platformers and first-person shooters and RPGs in this channel. A lot of, a lot of my uh, favorite games growing up. I, I'm revisiting them. Showing them off to anyone who doesn't know about it. So yeah, this is a very a series that I enjoyed a lot back in the day. So if you if you like point-and-click adventures, I'd I'd recommend it. Thanks for subscribing, Mega Vibes. Ten monther. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm right now I'm, I'm the, in this abandoned amusement park, surrounded by radioactive areas. Very creepy. Managed to get it working, we restored the power, but but yeah, I'm trying to figure out this roller co coaster at the moment. Use a, a lot of a lot of like steampunkish uh, themes to the, in this game. So a lot of mechanical, spring-loaded puzzles, which is yeah usually very fun to to figure out how how they work. H so called. Yeah, I took a picture of this map to see if I can figure out uh, these numbers. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what they mean, but... Wait, hang on, why? Why does it say number one there? I, st I think I stopped at number 40, but... Still not sure why. I, I mean, I can't... I can't get to that house. From the bottom, but maybe I can get it. Maybe you can stop it. Stop at it from the roller coaster. Uh. Yeah, look at all these points. Let's see, that's 40. 
That's five. That's fifteen. And below it is twenty-five. So the other... Uh, Kate, could you move your head a little bit? <laughs> so there are two more points there. One is... Thirty? Uh, hmm. Very curious. Maybe I should stop at 40 again, once again. Let's see what happens. We'll see if I can find that number one. Yeah, why is it at, at, in red as well? Yeah, I do a lot of these asking myself questions when I play these games. <laughs> Helps me think. I mean, usually I don't get quite uh, that stuck in this game. Uh, I'd say the puzzles are usually very, very fair. Well, the interface can get in the way sometimes. But yeah, I figured out how this roller coaster works. You have to kind of wind it up. And then you just put this metal pin where you want to stop. So yeah, I did stop at 35 already, but... Yeah, didn't really do much. This counter seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. Yeah, if I let go... And with the pin on, the, the roller coaster will stop at the point. Very dangerous to trust this rest, rusted, rusted roller coaster, but I am on an adventure, so I guess I'll do risky things. Nothing interesting here. Okay, yeah, so I stopped here. Uh, okay, is there something there? I'm not seeing. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really do much except take out the take out the pin and keep going okay. yeah if I take out the pin the, it keeps moving but big fan of roller coasters myself. Uh, yeah, I gotta find a way to stop exactly at that location, but I haven't figured out yet how to do it. I do have another thing that... Uh, but Not a chance. She doesn't want to use it. Okay, can I... Can I use it to... Maybe break the break the rod if I keep doing this. Yeah, if I could separate, if I could break this rod into two, then I'd I'd have two pieces. I'd be able to do it. But come on, break it, break the thing. I end up breaking the game and not the rock. Right. 
It looks like these holes were made on purpose. But what for? I know what for, but... Can't figure out how to stop at that specific place. I, I thought I'd need two pieces of metal, which means either find another one or cut the one I have. But I haven't figured out how to do the, either of the, those things. But yeah, right now I'm a Stark and, and I, I did say that I would only look around for another half an hour before I, I resorted to a, a walkthrough. And yeah, time's running out. Can't seem to get to that other location. Yeah, I'm trying to get these people on their uh, sacred voyage, uh, trying to help them out. Uh, is this the building where that said number was marked as number one on the map? All of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way. Yeah, I still gotta figure that out. How do how do I how do I get them across without going through the radiation radiated area? Contaminated zone. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing, is that reloading the game. Sometimes that that helps, because, yeah, this game is not, not the most polished one, so sometimes a glitch happens, or, or and at, at, there was one point already where uh, reloading the game did solve the problem. <laughs> so I might try that one more time. Going back to the main menu and then continue. Yeah, that's the problem with when uh, when these games. Uh, I don't if I don't if if the game is not functioning properly. Uh, I'm not sure if the problem is because that I got stuck because I missed something or because of a glitch. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this solves. What if, if there was something wrong? This solves it. Circumstances surrounding the arrival of Dogra Elgar. Okay, for example, do I? I still have the Vorberg wrench. Yeah, I, got, I guess I picked up these two uh, items. A number 10 Vorberg wrench. Yeah, I guess this, this was before I, I opened uh, the automaton and installed the, 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 the heart. Okay, one thing I want to do is go back to that Ferris wheel thing. There was a weird animation with the chain that the chain got did not animate well and so it would spin out of the out of a place
Yeah, I guess it's a little hard for anyone who's just arrived to, to try and give a suggestion of what, what, you, what you think I should do. But, but yeah, if you have any thoughts of what might work, welcome to, to share. Yeah, this... These tools aren't going up anymore. It just mirrors... It seems brighter in here. <laughs> Camera can get a little finicky. Yeah, I don't see anything up there. Okay. This... Yeah, this whole place is blocked off by this fence. Can't go any further. Over here. I mean, I'm still not sure what the point is of the of this first wheel. I mean, I thought it might be used to tow the the ship there because yeah, the people, uh, most of the people are still inside the cargo holds of the ship, and I need to tow it so it. The back of it is to the beach. Yeah, it does feel brighter. Yeah, look at that. It was much darker before. Huh. And yeah, I can I flipped that switch over there. Does doesn't it's not letting me flip it anymore. So I'm assuming it's already in the right position. Can I put this here. No. And yep, the chain still still going all over the place. Surprisingly silent Ferris wheel. <laughs> uh oh. What happened to the chains? It didn't reset. Oh dear. Yikes. Yeah, like I said, not not the most polished game. Little few glitches here and there. Anything else here? Yeah, I can only Oops. I can turn it on and I can go down and check these. Turn it on again. Same thing. It runs a little bit, but then stops. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's why I assumed uh, maybe I meant to... No, but then if... Yeah, the cable would not work. I mean, the, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to get an automaton working so I can use it to drive this car and tow, attach the cable to it, to attach the cable to the to the ship. Hmm. Wait, didn't they put a bridge here? Okay, maybe only after I start opening the the automaton. Huh. The 
Okay, let's 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 do this step. I'm not sure why it didn't auto save after I I did it, but okay. Hmm. You know, something should have changed after I opened the opened the automaton because it, she mentioned that she needed an activation key. And she only found out about the activation key after after opening it. And I assumed the activation key is up where where in that place where I needed to stop the roller coaster. But I'm trying yeah, I'm trying to think of the order of things. Uh, if if I got there before I opened the automaton, then she would already have the activation key. So if she is meant to first discover that she needs the not uh, activation key and then find it, then the thing I need to get the act activation key would only show up after I've opened the automaton. Right? Yeah, this guy. It's compatible with the tractor on the pier. Great! XZ2000, Oscar's serial number. Yeah, he looks just like the automaton that accompanied, accompanied us in our journey through Siberia 1 and 2. <laughs> Use the, this wrench. Out of order. Yeah. Okay. This here. Connect. Here. This. Connect this. Uh. Use the wrench to unscrew the bolt. It's blocking the opening. I remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Now I just have to find the right key. Mm. Yeah, easier said than done. Okay. After I do that, if I go back to that place. Ah, there you go. Now this is what happened, yeah. What was that? Yeah, okay, now I remember. The roller coaster only became available after I opened the automaton. Okay, now it makes sense. The activation key is definitely up in that in that area. How do I get to it though? Hmm. I don't think there's anything on the ship that would help me, but might be worth a look. I mean, I, I did I did neglect going back there because I thought I've already explored things, but in uh, other other points in the game, new things became available when it was their time to be used. So okay, I'll try one last thing. Look around the ship, and then, uh, then I give up. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I mean, you'd think that if I could cut the, I could cut the piece of metal, it would be here, right? Yeah, these tools showed up. They, 
Nothing that looks anything like an activation key. Come on, there are scissors there. I could cut. Can I cut the wire like this? Just as I thought. No activation key. Yeah. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. <laughs> Yeah, something that happened with the shading is much much brighter here. <laughs> than it was before. I guess it's an improvement. But yeah, did you install the bridge? Yeah. So this showed up after I opened the uh, automaton. Nanook metal, not good boiler maker. Light, now return to park. Okay, let's go check. Check the ship. She mentioned the scratches on the on the metal rod. If not, to try and get me to use a tool to cut it. new here okay let's check inside just one last sweep of the area before I declare myself completely stuck Oops. yeah there are a couple tools here One of them? No? Ostriches must be all impatient and hold. Yeah, I'll get them out soon. Don't worry. Look at that. <laughs> Snow ostriches. A little weird dog thing that looks like a cross between a dog and a, a, and a seal. Okay, nothing down here. I'm very close to the puzzle solution. The problem is, I think I'm missing an object or something to do with this object. But I've already looked around the entire place. Only place left was the ship. Yeah, why can't I look at this? 
don't have the key anymore. What's the point? Okay, I think I, I think it's been long enough. Been for, I've been stuck for forty minutes. Time to check exactly what I missed. Go back. Anyone want to look at walkthrough and, and give a hint, or <laughs> do I should I look look it up myself? Risk spoiling solution. Careful here not to. Yeah, didn't I fight? Wait, hang on, hang on. Before I do anything, didn't I fight a note on the ground? That I did not check. Yeah, I didn't check this note. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Cancel that. Cancel that request. Uh. Strange assembly of dates and speeds in meters per hour, most of them crossed off. They are accompanied by the issues K and, K and A, as well as Roman numerals 1 and 3. They look at the rough analysis trying to figure out how to stop a moving object at a specific point. Five times zero point six equals okay. uh, did I calculate that myself? I guess uh, times zero point six. That's twenty one. Was I on the right track of, about stopping at number 5 and then stopping at number 20? Maybe... Okay, uh, let me try that once. Now, now that I re reloaded, maybe the game did glitch out. And it wasn't working as it was... It wasn't doing the thing it was supposed to. Did that train car get here? Hmm. 
Hmm. But yeah, maybe this hole means 21. Uh, it still doesn't explain. Not before I use it, I'm gonna wind it. Here? Yeah, look at the size of this thing. If I could cut it, it would would easily allow me to have two of these rods. Okay. Then yeah, why the why does the map say fifteen plus twenty-five? If I'm supposed to use five and then twenty. I think I just haven't figured this out yet. I wish I knew if I was missing an item or not, though. This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. Yeah, I already knew that. Okay, so if I stop at 20 now, let's see. Let's try something else. Not this. this. Yeah, it resets again. Yeah, it still didn't work. Maybe I still need both. I still need two pieces of metal, but instead of stopping at 15 and 25, I need to stop at 20 and 15. Is that another one? Hang on, hang on. Yeah. So 
Wait, no, no. Uh, find it first. So worried about just finding a so the solution being something that I ne just neglected to notice. Uh. Right, this one. Yeah, it goes down and then goes back up, so I don't think I don't think it matters. Stopped here. Nothing here. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna look look at these statues at these left of the rock and find a metal shack underneath the bench. Okay? If this, if this is the metal sh shank that I've already found, then I've not spoiled myself. But if, if it's a new one, then I just missed it. Stuff together. <laughs> what the? Um. Okay. Did reloading the game make it worse? Okay. Fix itself at least. Uh, not here, right? Yeah, I completely forgot where I found the, the metal sh tank. Gates, got seen the play, wave car. Could... Two green pillars. Shank beneath the bench. Is this the bench? In that case, I already found it. Ah, I'm so worried. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's one between beneath one of these benches. No, he said take a left between. Wait a second. left between the large statues and the two green pillars. What, two, what green pillars? Oh, 
Are these this one? Is this where I found the the, the metal shaft? Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if it if, if it's the metal Radiation shank everywhere around the park. Then I already found it, okay. I'm worried about reading any further. Uh, I have a feeling that both the note and the map will should indicate where I need to go for what I need to do with the roller coaster, but uh, just not figuring it, figuring it out. It's a shame. I mean, so far I've been able to figure out everything in the game. It would be the first puzzle that I needed to actually consult the a guide. Wait, wait. Hang on a second. Took a look. You see another metal shank? I mean, this whole time there was a metal shank right next to me? Ah, oh, come on, look at that. There it is. Yeah, okay, the guide. The guide told me that what I needed to see. That I just, I just missed it. Uh, okay. You yeah, look at that. This whole point of the camera pointing here. Okay, I'll, I'll go here. But then I just needed to look on the side. That was mean. Anything else here? No? I'm running around the entire park looking for this other metal shank. Oh uh, well. What's done, it's done. So... I was on the right track, but I needed two of them, at least. The question is, do I stop at 25 and then 15, or do I stop at 20 and then 15? I mean, I guess if I didn't look up, I would just get stay even further stuck. I, I know I, I cannot predict how long it would take until I decided to look look next to me. So yeah, I might have been another hour before I before I found it, if I ever did. If I was playing this uh, off stream, I would uh, I would not have looked up. I wouldn't I wouldn't have minded taking that long to find the solution but in this case yeah I can't stand can't stay around uh, too long wandering around without any doing making any progress Was right taking it out go a little further if this doesn't work then we are no already know it's the fifth number 15 yep it worked I wonder where this passage leads if someone was here, yeah. someone was trying to make this uh, roller coaster stop here. Maybe there's someone here hiding. 
Will we meet a survivor? subway system yeah we might we might be able to get the caravan across the city of Baranor by making them go underground if this still works of course what's that Is that an automaton? Deactivated automaton? Yeah, what is this? How charming. I mean, it's like clearly a hide or something, but who made it? Yeah, there's someone living here, definitely. Or at least there was. A photo album. Tempting. My Andre. Hmm. Come on. Hello. Okay. You're not going to open it? Guess not. A real girly girl's room. Real teenager's room, it's a A real girly girl's room. Hmm. Please let there be an activation key here somewhere. Okay. Someone enjoying their radio soap operas? Ooh. Some Olympic medals. Oh. See? 
Okay, let's check what's in the book. Or what the book is about. The photo, photo album. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Papa and Mama at the Nahodosk cold calls I love so much. The uniform they gave me after the declaration of war, the look on Comrade Quartermaster's face when he had to find my size. Wait, what? That's it? Okay. Mobilized at the same time, but not the same regiment. When I think about the time when Comrade Lieutenant almost caught us at one of our nighttime get-togethers. The Moscow Olympics after just one year at the front, gold medals for both of us. Uh, I'm gonna translate that. My beautiful Andriocha. Is that is that a general that's after us, but with two eyes? Oh dear. The amusement park, our first day of work. The amusement park, just after it happened. Rest in peace, my love. Oh, never mind, I guess he died. My flea bag with spares. You're all I have left now. Is that a mechanical dog? <laughs> First runner up in the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Not bad. Finally, I found it. My photo of the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. The best day of my life. First runner up, and I met Andriocha. Okay, I think that's the last page. Hmm. My Andre. Okay, now I'm a little paranoid about having to look around to see if I missed anything. The way they. Now that I know that the game can frame things in a misleading way to not show everything you can interact with. Uh, okay. Maybe that will be open later. A real girly girl's room. Why did she say that? Okay. The only album, the only thing here? Aha. Uh -huh. Huh? Who are you? Hi. And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the trap with the game I caught on my back because of you. Uh, sorry? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned, and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. <laughs> huh. Don't that beat all. Yeah. There you are, you good boy. Mama will have you up and running in no time. Is that your hunting dog? What's this key for? For activating the park automatons. You need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus, they break down. There. Uh. Would you let me borrow that for a moment? 
Let me just introduce myself first. Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their migration to their sacred lands. And you're... Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well, look at that. An American. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm Staff Sergeant Katarina Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot put in the Moscow Olympics. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov. Veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Delighted to meet you, Katarina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. You've been really polite and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This key is extremely precious to me. As far as I know, your gang of gnomes and you might just be one of those gangs of bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around here. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. Okay. Uh, talk about photo album. I mean, it is flashing, so might as well. So you're the Katarina Drozdolova? First runner-up in the Now Dask Oblast beauty contest in 1979? <laughs> yes, indeed, that was me. And that was also when I met my Andre. To be perfectly honest, I thought that somebody from the West could only possibly know me for what I did in athletics instead. Now that I know who you are, I don't dare ask for your key. I would never want to inconvenience someone of your standing like that. <laughs> stop, stop. Classy women don't fuss over each other. <laughs> Reverse Tell psychology. me exactly why you need my key. <laughs> And I'll see what I can do for you. Yeah, I don't I need have to key. get a park automaton back in working condition so I can pull our boat higher up onto the beach so the ostrich herd in the hold can get out. The Yukels and their herd have to continue their sacred migration as soon as possible. What's more, the longer we're stuck here, the more likely it is that we'll be caught and arrested by the soldiers who are after us. Hmm. If I say yes, you promise you'll bring it back to me as soon as you've finished? Of course. I would never betray the trust of the great Katerina Drozdolova. I mean, you could just come with okay, me. Okay, then. I agree. Take good care of it. For 20 years now, it's let me keep my bag of mechanical fleas running. Okay. 20 years? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Your husband was contaminated? Skip Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get to Valsambor? No. I heard that all of the irradiated survivors were sent to this clinic there and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely True. everything I need here. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. One last thing before I go. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Mm -hmm. Not only do you avoid the radiation, but you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Okay. Thank you, Katarina, for everything. Whoa. Is that her... her catch? this the zone is more or less safe ah, is this a Geiger counter okay still fresh for Andre my proud soldier a little shrine for him Uh, 
Okay, we can go back. <sighs> After that hunt for the that second metal rod. I think I'm gonna end the stream as soon as uh, we reach that Olympia staging thing. Hi there. What news, Kate Walker? Hmm. Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. Hey. I wasn't playing around. This ride is the only way I found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you goals? I learned that the subway is safe. No radiation. I mean, free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Yeah, I was can the Yukos save. clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Yeah, I was about to say, how, how are the ostriches going to get through? Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. Once we've left Baranur, what is the next step? The River Balaton. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Yakistan? Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. Okay. Any news from the Yukels who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. <laughs> okay. Let's get the show on the road. Now I'm kind of wondering if there is a, a wrong dialogue option that you you can pick and not progress. I mean, so far I think I've been doing uh, everything right, but the way they flashed one uh, option as obviously the best one made it seem like the other ones were not so good. I just wonder what the consequences of picking the not good options were, would be. 
Okay. Let's go say hello to a um, resurrected Oscar, I guess. Let's see if Katarina's activation key works. you Kate Walker hello Kate Walker so is everything set are we ready to go now you have refitted the train spring haven't you and what about mr. Hans Vorlberg is he on board there's no more train Oscar and there's no more Hans Vorlberg I beg your pardon you were supposed to be dead too I installed your heart in another model just like you and it seems to have worked it's good to see you again, Oscar. Not used to his new body. Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar, I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. <laughs> I'm accompanying the Yukels on their voyage. You know they found me when I was dying next to a river in the west of Siberia and took me in. They are accompanying the migration of the snow ostriches to their sacred lands, where they go and reproduce. Now we're being chased by fanatical soldiers who want to send the Yukels back to where they came from. To top it off, they want to hand me over to the American authorities. I've been accused of all sorts of crimes. The Yukels, a primitive nomadic people in the far north that live symbiotically with large herds of Struthionibus, commonly known as snow ostriches. That about sums it up. Kate Walker, about the American deviant, intellectually and politically unstable, hey. influenced by both circumstance and encounters, despite possessing an unquestionable moral fiber. Uh, I suppose that's about right, in a word. Hmm. Well, how may I be of service to you, Kate Walker? We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker... My clothes. I don't have any clothes. <laughs> uh, I guess that's true. Oscar, the Yukels and I have seen a lot worse. Believe me, we'll get over it. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Vorlberg productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to... Oscar, please. Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. Huh? All right, all right. I'll get you some clothes. That's all we needed, a modest automaton. I'm going to find clothes for you. I mean, you might as well go go back and give Katrina her key back.
Ooh, maybe that's what... Oh. Yeah, maybe that... Now the, the wardrobe will op be open. So yeah, I guess I'll go back there anyway. They clear the entrance already, or do I have to use the, the roller coaster again? Go. Huh? You call us who dig are all gone. Getting there, but it's not enough to get the ostriches through yet. Okay. Oh wait, there's a, there's a door there. Okay, so this is where we came from. How charming. Sad story, Miss Ketwalk. Pyotr and Jenya smooch smooch love. But families promise Tatiana and Yuri get money from stores of their old great uncle Joseph. Do you really think this is the time to be watching sappy soap operas? <laughs> we need to have the entrance way clear before Olga and the Colonel get here. Tsa, tsa. You calls go back and dig. There's nothing we can do, my sweet Jenya. We'll just have to accept our fate and try to live virtuous lives. <laughs> We don't have to give in. Maybe, <coughs> maybe if something happened to Tatiana and Yuri, <laughs> an accident at the plant, for example. And now I want some popcorn. Genia, you can't be thinking. Wait, I want to go back in. Why do, do you leave? Okay, first things first. Here you go. Katarina? Ah, you again. Uh, yeah, I'll give back the key first. Here's your key. Thank you again. Hmm, what do you need? Clothes. For Oscar, my automaton friend huh well for an automaton he's a real prude yeah your story isn't real clear to me anyway take a look over there in the wardrobe mixed up with andre's things this is for opening it with but don't take more than you need got it i'm still attached to that stuff they're souvenirs okay Am 
not going to make me turn the key this time. Kate Walker. Oh. Hi there. Thought you said you weren't going to move. Look at you, Oscar. So you finally succumbed to the temptations of nudism. <laughs> the sooner I am decently attired, the better I will feel. While I was coming to join you, I came across a gang of hairy and very rude small folk. I will spare you the jibes to which I was subjected. Mm. Don't short circuit on me. Here, take a look at this wardrobe. These clothes in here should fit you. What the? Oh. How is my appearance, Kate Walker? Huh? Lie? What do you mean, lie? Looks good. Very becoming, Oscar. Perfect. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now, please, tell me more about the vehicle that you would like me to drive. It's stranded on the pier next to our boat, the Crystal. Well, in that case, I would like to suggest that we meet there, Kate Walker. Great. See you later, Oscar. <laughs> yeah, aren't you going to need something opening on the back to connect to the cart or something? Oh. Thanks again. Be careful in the subway. The lake water has entered some of the tunnels. Yeah. I've already had to deal with a lot of water <laughs> recently, so a little bit of lake water shouldn't be that much problem. Hey, Kirk. Run. Kirk? What were you doing? Well, I just... Uh, hmm. huh? Tell me something. Was it the other Yukels who told you about the soap opera Katarina had on? Oh, you wanted to go mm, listen. No, no. <laughs> so, of course, there's no way you'd be here to watch it, too, is there? A great spiritual guide like you would surely never indulge in such silliness. Uh, of course not, Kate Walker. I... <laughs> so, you were about to go back to the tribe to make sure that everything's going well? Yes, that's right. And I really must be off. La later, Kate Walker. <laughs> Always dig! Not fair! Hey, it's for you. not tell Shaman that tambourine gives bad headache. <laughs> Cheering them on or something? Encouraging them to keep working? <laughs> okay. Here. Yeah, now I'm curious. So, what, what's he going to do about the back connection? Is he going to just cut a hole uh, on the back of the clothes or remove the jacket? Use this place dark again. Oh, oh well. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the point of the Ferris wheel was, but uh, let's see if it'll show up at some point. 
Because, yeah, if all we needed for was Oscar to drive the, the thing, to tow the boat, then I was wrong about the Ferris wheel using. Oscar's set up. Great! Yeah, he removed the jacket, okay. Ah, Kate Walker. What do you expect me to do, then? <laughs> yeah, no, don't... Let's see what he has to say about getting undressed. It was worth finding you those clothes. It is all a question of nuance and circumstance, Kate Walker. Of course. How silly of me. <laughs> there is quite a difference between finding oneself walking about without clothing and having to expose for the cause the mechanical musculature of an iron worker's torso. I await your command, Kate Walker. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need you to use this vehicle to lift the crystal onto the beach. Do you think you can do it? You will remember that I was the driver on the Vorlberg train, Kate Walker. Driving this tractor is not something I will find difficult. I will just need some help to complete this mission. What do you need? First of all, you must connect the crystal to the tractor. Sure. Okay, Oscar. And then what? Well, that is all, in fact. As this tractor is actually still under electrical power despite the regrettably obvious lack of upkeep it has received in this abandoned area. To be honest, Oscar, I'm the one who restored power to the park. Oh. What excellent initiative. A true testament to your spirit of enterprise, Kate Walker. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Yeah, he doesn't sound like the old Oscar, so they probably got another actor to, to play him. Uh, how do we attach? Kind of, kind of weird. Uh, see him as the old Oscar if he doesn't sound the same. I guess it can be justified by him having a new body, also having a new voice box. Uh, although he was supposed to be the same model. Oh, never mind. Yeah, huh? why am I? Maybe I have to ask people, someone to help why am i not grabbing the hook oh. this cable would be perfect for towing the crystal i just need help to get it free okay can you guys help miss get walk i need you to take that cable next to you and attach it to the tractor over there please za za ru Thank you. Okay. That should do it. Probably would say we need yes, to clear Walker. the way if I hadn't uh, un un disconnected that card from the first. Ask for advice. How are things on your end, Oscar? Well, yes. All the required conditions seem to be present for me to move forward, Kate Walker. Yeah, he'd probably say, "Oh, you still need to clear the path or something." If I, if those, those cards were that card was still there. <laughs> yes, Kate Walker. Advance. Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. Uh, I have doubts that this tiny car will be able to tow the entire boat, but... Let's see if it works. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that should work. Stop, Oscar! Stop! Uh, it's not working, Oscar. We're only driving the crystal into the sand. That is indeed annoying. The traction that this machine exerts is far too horizontal. 
It would be preferable to hoist the boat from a higher position. The cable would be at an angle, and your boat would move forward and be raised at the same time. Brilliant mm. analysis of the situation, my dear Oscar. Uh, is there something else? Not exactly, Kate Walker. But you may at some point find you need to see further along the pier. Can you put some slack in the cable so I can move the tractor over there? Okay. Now what? Not not moving. Need to un unlock it somehow. The way he said it makes now it makes me think that I'll need the to attach the cable to the Ferris wheel, but the cable looks taut. How does that work? Uh, no can do, Oscar. If you want me to move the cart forward, I'll need to have some slack, Kate Walker. Fine. Game's not letting me. Again, having to fight, fight with this interface. Pushing down, not working. Pushing up, not working. Turning around, turning around the other side. No. the ship and do something something about it now crystal light now return to park I need some kind of tool to uh, turn that. I mean, yeah, you'd think that the cable would be locked, so you would you wouldn't just give out when the cart was pulled. But I didn't see any mechanism to unlock it. the rope tying to the cable shouldn't it be uh, around here oh. I actually thought they were going to tie the rope to the back of the ship and pull it so it would like turn as it uh, as it was being pulled I mean the point was yet to get the bottom of the boat all the way to the beach right and sounds much easier to try and turn the boat than to try and get the entire boat onto the beach Let me 
Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. Around it. If you want me to move the cart forward, I'll need to have some slack, Kate Walker. Hmm. Oh. Okay, maybe if I... Okay, maybe I need... I do need to... Use a tool. This shouldn't work, but... Oh! I guess it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's normal. There you go. Yes, Kate Walker. That's. Go ahead, Oscar. Try to move forward. lined up with the ferris wheel so. yeah pretty sure we need to tie it to the ferris wheel but how, how do i do it the ferris wheel maybe won't be able to detach this cable on my own. The problem is actually quite simple, Gatewalker. You just need to find some way to tow the crystal from above. Hmm. That's what I figured. Uh, thanks for the explanation, though, Oscar. Please don't mention it. I have forgotten what immense satisfaction is to be gained by guiding you on the right path. Right. But what you're saying is I didn't re actually need you after all. Just... <laughs> Just need to go with my original plan of using the Ferris wheel to tow the crystal. Miss Kidwalk. Did you Can help you again? Can you take the cable attached to the tractor there and attach it to the Ferris wheel, please? Duke. Okay, Duke. Roar. That's, that's how you pronounce roar? <laughs> Wait, what? Where did, where did the second cable come from? Hmm. Okay, let's hope this works. And hope the Ferris wheel doesn't break apart completely. <laughs> Yikes. up the cutscene. There you go. Yeah, that shouldn't work, but... Okay, I guess. Oh dear. Whoops. I shouldn't be up here. Mission accomplished. 
accomplished. Yeah. I guess. One way or another, we. Can change difficulty modes at any time in the options menu. I mean, not really stuck because of the puzzle difficulty, more because of the interface, but sure. Still press the button. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Hey. Wait, what? where am I? Is everyone all right? It must have been a bumpy ride in inside the ship. Where did Oscar go? I guess I'll go through here again. Yeah, I guess we're almost done. I mean, that's the last hurdle in our journey. I mean, we're almost done with this area, at least. Unless a, a new problem shows up. triumphant music <laughs> after all that trouble oh, nice hey there everything all right mm -hmm. congratulations Kate Walker thanks to you the migration can get underway again thank you Kirk but without the tribe's help I never could have Oh, yeah. Right. Nanook metal. Are they still uh, afraid of his face? Because Duduk, in... Duk, Duk. Hey. No, no. Kapotak dog metal big nog Nanook. Lian Musu Oscar. Big Esperitulukulet. Esperitululuk. Yeah, he's not your death god or. What did you say to them? That handsome metal man is not a monster. <laughs> not dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for defending Oscar. No problem. But tribal need much time to get used to him. Better for everybody he travel in shaman's yurt. He'll be delighted. In the meantime, I'll try to get the ostriches out. You get everybody ready to leave. Okay, now what? Can I go behind here? Mm-hmm. 
loading two, two things. Madam, as I told you, I'm actually perfectly capable of following your caravan on foot. Shaman's yurt's very comfortable. Big handsome metal man must rest after everything he has done for tribe. <laughs> oh, oh fun for him. Madam, please, I... Nice, I get my own mount too. And yeah, I guess the ship is now a permanent park of the permanent parts of the park. Aha, you're too late. I've already left. Their boat is right there. But where's the American and those damn savages? They can't have gone far. If they're truly crazy enough to go right into Baranoa. The radiation will take care of our problem for us. Exactly. Why do you care so much? Weird. Can't understand their motivation. The soldiers. They found our tracks. They must think we're on the surface. Good. You're right, Kate Walker. I... Uh-oh. Come, Lek. Come, Lek, me gappa. Kirk! Look over there! Oh, is it bats? What's that? I'll go look. Wait for me here. The Snow Washers is afraid of bats? Go inspect the tunnel, Kate Walker. We must leave as soon as we can. I mean, they are hanging from the ceiling, so I'm assuming they're bats, but... They also have red glowing eyes. Are they automaton bats? Evil bats. Come on. This shouldn't be harming anyone. Even vampire bats don't attack people, they, they just lick blood off wounded animals. <sighs> Filthy. Ostriches not move toward little vampires. <laughs> Scare them with, with some light. Let's try something else. Okay, I hope this part doesn't take too long. What is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way to get down. It's kind of hoping to reach Olympia Stadium. Yeah, I don't know how many obstacles are still there.
We did get uh, set back by an hour due to that puzzle. What is this? The seaweed proliferated because of the flooding. Okay. I mean, I did say I wanted the uh, adventure game protagonist to pick up an object before she knew what he needed them for, but... Yeah, what do I need this for? Lake water. Katarina was right. It's like contaminated lake water to me, but... Come on. Seem like anything else to do here? Will the bats be repelled by the smell of the seaweed, I guess, or something? I'm gonna go up here. Hi there. Afraid of little vampires. <laughs> Anything over here? I wish this Let's music try something else. was playing during the park instead of all that silence. It's very melancholic. As far as I go. Wait, 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 wait. I'll try this side. <clears throat> hey, Oscar. What you doing? Ah, Kate Walker. Yeah. What are you doing here, Oscar? Oh, nothing. I'm just enjoying taking in the quiet all around here. I feel quite safe in a way. From mm -hmm. ayahuasca, for example? <laughs> Let's just say that I would be grateful if you could refrain from mentioning my presence to her. Okay, yeah. Do you know what this airlock is for? I think it must have been installed at the time of the incident that ravaged this city. It must be for decontaminating the radiation suits worn by rescuers who went outside. Hmm. And it protects us from the radiation? Absolutely. Without it, your organic components would unfortunately now be completely carbonized. And I regret to say, currently putrefying, Kate Walker. Whoa. I see. Thank you for such an interesting diagnosis. Metal does have advantages sometimes. Um, to be fair, you you do you are also rusting, so. I need help getting rid of all those bats. They're stopping us from moving on. Potential threats trigger animals' flight response, Kate Walker. The origin of the threat may be fire, water, noise, or in general, anything that might put their physical integrity at risk. Mm. See you later, Oscar. Yes, Kate Walker. Okay. Oh, is there anything, anything important in this airlock? I mean, I, the way he said it, I don't think we should open it, but the option is there, so... Yeah, can't I use my goggles to see if the other side is clean? Yep, not clean. That's Katarina not was right. 
The surface is completely contaminated. Let's not open it. Uh... Hmm. There's nothing else here, I guess. Let's try something else. Yeah, right now the seaweed is the only thing I got. Little man hiding near, I think. Okay, maybe I can examine it. The knife, the goggles, and the seaweed. Seaweed that smells of the sea, as they say. Okay. How do we use that to our advantage then? Ride one of you. Go ahead and go in front with the seaweed. Maybe they're repelled by the smell. Metal men seem very nice in end. Huh. Well, we have a problem. Yes, we saw. Miss Kate Walker must free passage for caravan quick. <sighs> A bright idea would really be welcome right about now, Ayahuasca. If Miss Kate Walker finds something good to frighten bats, they surely go outside fast. Very well. I'll go see what I can do. Thank you, Kate Walker. And call on the Yukos for help if you need it. I'm sure they'll be able to give you a hand. Hmm. I mean, I could use a hand figuring out what, how to put these. Oh, what's that? Put this seedweed to work. To use. Huh? This is the bat's pantry, I guess. Oh. Little fruits growing inside. Light from the outside. Okay. Not seeing how that helps. Can't use the seaweed here. Uh. Ostriches not move toward little vampires. Hmm. Nice metal man not in yurt now. Miss Kate Walker not see him? Uh, no. I have no idea where he might be. You must get rid of all the bats. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, not much to do here. Oh, what are you doing there? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you noticed we now have bats blocking the way. Would you know of some way I could encourage them to leave their home? No, no idea. Well, that's pretty clear. Yes. Well, give, later then. Give it some thought, maybe? They don't even care. Uh, they're just expecting me to do everything. Uh... Little vampire, I sneak back cold. <laughs> I'm guessing I just have to really talk to the right people. Now. Let's try something else. Here there was only this one guy. Afraid of little vampires. 
Anything else? Down here there was only the seaweed. Wait, what are you doing here? What you got there? Baitla, Miss Ketwalk. Look, very good wood. Took. You take now. Gift, gift. Okay. Yeah, what, what is it for? Thank you, but what am I supposed to do with it? Problem with bats now, home? Miss Ketwalk can sneak up and use root to go to bats and hit them. Pop, pop, pop. I suppose it couldn't hurt to try. Sure. I'm not gonna hit the bats one by one. I do think I'm acquiring components to do something, though. Okay. I have seaweed, I have root. The nice stick that the woodworker gave me. Okay. was here is not working anymore. Did it leave something good for me? Huh. What's in there? Good question. A lighter. Okay, I could use one of those. What's in there? Whatever it is is mine now. <laughs> this is good for a little DIY. What is it? A support for a torch looks like. The smith must use it for light or to heat up small objects. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't work. Uh, I put the stick there. Yeah. Do I use put the seaweed? Nothing. Or do I use my old scarf as a torch? Let's try something else. Yeah, she said she was attached to the scarf. No. Uh, I can just light it without any combustible. It didn't catch. Yeah. It would not. It would not catch, and you need something else. Uh. Bad idea. Dipping this part right in it wouldn't be enough. Yeah, that's why I thought about using the the scarf. Gasoline. Handy for yuko barbecues. Okay, I guess I'll see if I can find a piece of cloth a piece of cloth. Can you help out? Can't do nothing for Miss Kate Walk. Oh well. How about you? Really want fresh air now. I mean, I thought about using light to scare the bats, but I guess fire would work Little too. vampire ice make back cold. <laughs> Not sure what the seaweed is going to help with that. Anyone got a piece of cloth they could lend me? Or give me? Metal men seem very nice in Not gonna give it back. Did you ask for help from the tribe? Well, not the entire tribe, but... Miss Kate Walker must try and chase bats away very quick. Yeah, yeah. Ostriches not move toward little vampires. 
Hmm. Oh, there you go. Kunuk Mark, Miss Ketwalk. What do you got for me? Do you have any idea how to get rid of the bats? You thinking... Small vampires, very dumb. You find ways, scare them all. Hmm. Well, thanks for your help. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> how are the ostriches? They all scared of little vampires. So while they are there, ostriches not want go forward. And they all getting very hungry. You calls must find pasture real quick. Everything okay with you? Tuk tuk, Miss Ketwalk. But everything go better when try back on route. Well, I'll go see what I can do about the bats. See you later. Tuk, you hang in there, Miss Ketwalk. Oh. Aha. Exactly what I needed. There. Yeah, what's this book part for? Wrap it around. Put some gasoline on it. I think I needed all the entire flask of ours gasoline, but okay. Torch get. Will that be enough, I wonder? Get off. Shoo. I don't believe it. Huh? What's wrong? I mean, they're trying to get out, but they can't. And they're just going right back. Huh. I guess I gotta find a way to open that, but isn't that dangerous? I mean, isn't the outside air contaminated? It's possible for the bats to get out through here, but how do I open the gratings? Good question. I mean, if I had a radiation suit, I would be able to go outside, but... I don't have anything of the sort. Maybe Oscar can go outside. Help out. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, here, Norma. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you can die in this game, but you should still not do something that would prevent you from dying. <laughs> would cause you to die. I, I, I mean it.
The confined atmosphere here seems to be affecting you, Kate Walker. It's not claustrophobia, Oscar. The way for us to solve our bat problem is up there, outside. And I don't have the slightest idea how to get there. There's an enormous amount of radiation. You need someone who is, by their very nature, impervious to radiation so that they can do this task in your place. If such a being existed, that mm. would solve our problems, mm. wouldn't it? I wonder who. May I remind you that I am an upgraded XE2000 model automaton. Oh, you don't mean you. <laughs> I am, of course, somewhat afflicted by osteoarthritic rust. But I should be able to do the task, Kate Walker. I don't doubt that you're capable of it. But it could be dangerous up there. You don't think that... I'm afraid that, for you, the choice of candidates is limited, Kate Walker. If you insist. <laughs> I mean, she didn't exactly tell him what he needed to do, but let's hope he can figure it out. Or will I will I play as Oscar now? Cool. <laughs> First time ever in, in the series that you get to play as someone else. <laughs> Interesting. Olympic and Center of Nuclear Research. That's what was written uh, on the signs. Yeah, I'm trying to reach the Olympia sta uh, Stadium. Kate Walker's pursuers. I must make every effort to hurry up. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't. this place doesn't take too long. I also want to hurry up. Oh wait, I do have do I have my own inventory? Huh. How do I get up there? Uh Actually I'm not sure now if the Not sure if I how long this part will take, but okay, maybe the fire truck. Yeah, now we're, we're. I mean, they mentioned going through Yakistan, which I don't. I'm not sure if it's where it is, if it's if it's a real place or not, but. Ah, the very conduits in question. Opening them should be child's play. Right, okay, let's see if I can use the fire truck's ladder to get up there. key, of course. Unless... Nothing. That would have been vulgar. Yeah. Maybe the glove compartment? What are these... I need goggles. <laughs> Ooh. E. No key, obviously. Okay.
I mean, I've never drained one of these before, but oh dear. I guess this works. Okay. Can I climb up behind? Operate the operate the ladder. system the edges are completely welded together well now what that grating is an insult to the boiler making profession and unfortunately a real spanner in the works if I may do I use my oil thing that won't do it all red of oil uh. I need to find a blowtorch or something to get through. What is that? Nice room. Nice room. Nice room. That makes no sense. I mean, I expect this part won't take long, but like, there's always a chance that I'll get stuck again. <laughs> Not know what to do. Let's just see where I, where I can go exactly. Yeah, now it feels like I'm playing a Fallout game. <laughs> I'm still in, in Baranur. The surface. What can I go in here? Oh, was that? Ears? Would be useful. Someone trying to rob this bank? <laughs> Rios Reus Okay I mean I don't think the shears uh, will be the thing that I need but maybe they will allow me to get somewhere or somewhere else Camera change already, I'm getting a little too far away. Okay. Maybe if I go inside and, and leave again. Okay. 
use the shears to steal a bicycle. <laughs> Cut out a padlock or something. Okay, here we go. Now, now I get to see it. Okay, anything good here? This looks open. Oh, hi there. Not a mechanical doggy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, yeah, the it's missing the shears, but I already have shears. Oh, my goodness me! Nice doggy. I mean, it's not like you can be bitten. Why, why are you afraid? Okay. Hmm. Nothing else here, I guess. Clearly needs the shears for something. I guess the game intended for me to intended for me to look inside that shop first and then find the shears. Oh, is that the remains of the nuclear reactor or the nuclear power plant? Okay, this is no time for a sightseeing. <laughs> this is going to show the same thing, or yeah. Okay, maybe if if I can't find anything else, I guess I'll try the shears on the on the gratings. Those chains there. Nice room. Doesn't feel like shears would work because yeah, shears are usually, in, at least in games like these, used to like cut off a padlock or a chain or something. Not seeing anything where the shears would work, but okay. I guess these are open to the, to the open air. I mean, they're just yeah, they're just great. So I thought they were like completely sealing the place.
Okay. Mission accomplished. Uh oh. Did the doggy want something? Stop me from going down. Come on. Nice doggies. Oh, my goodness me. Mm. Okay, maybe now I use this water cannon. Scare them with water. Ah, come, on. come on. Again, I could have just pressed a button and that would happen. Wouldn't have to. Come on. Okay. Don't have to be so finicky. worked, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this should be enough. You might be done here. But yeah, it didn't take quite that long. It was half an hour or so. I'm not sure what I need the seaweed for, though. Kind of worried that there's going to be some problem that will require that seaweed to solve. Kate Walker. I'll be fine. That's out of the question. Kate Walker. I must have a very substantial level of radioactivity. In this state, my presence in your vicinity would place your organism in mortal danger. I do not believe that is desirable. I said we're not going anywhere without you. Hmm. I just need to find a little bit of iodine. Iodine is a rare commodity, Kate Walker. Don't be pessimistic, Oscar. Just let me get on with it, please. Very well, Kate Walker. Hmm. The iodine compartment. Wouldn't happen to fit the seaweed, would it? Burning it? Hmm. 
What is going on there? Bro? Very convenient that I just happen to have the solution. <laughs> We're going to have a, a Star Trek Wrath of Khan moment of if Oscar going. Need of the many outweighed the need of the few or the one. <laughs> good to see you again. It's good to see you again, Oscar. Oh, yes. Well, um, let me see. I am not unhappy to see you either, Kate Walker. Is he being too to the is he being soon today? Tell them to get ready to leave. I'll join you as soon as I can. At your command, Kate Walker. Okay. Put down here. Okay. What? Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Go back. Go back. Come on. Okay, now I can <laughs> climb down. Okay. So do I have to light the torch again or can I just can I just go? First I have to light the torch. Yeah, figured. I, I guess you need to, both hands to use the lighter, so you can't hold hold the torch in one hand and light it with the other. Is he going to be mad that I took his gasoline and his lighter? Miss <laughs> Kid walk hurry with workbench. Hey, okay. I'm doing this for you. Don't have to be. Oh. I guess he provided another gas, another uh, gasoline and lighter. Empty. Fortunately, my torch still seems to have enough. Doesn't look empty, but okay. There we go. Now the bats can escape. Get out of our way. here for the night and continue the journey at the break of dawn our next step will be the last in this country the ancient bridge across the river Balatom on the border with Yakistan once we're across 
will be safe from our pursuers. Well, now that's good news. See you later, Kirk. Yeah, I wonder how long Kate Walker will accompany them until until this they cross the, the border or until they reach their destination. Who are you? Yeah, I think is this Olympia's Olympia Stadium? Miss Kate Walk made arrangement with previous owner. Yurts just for your sleep until end of journey. Former owner now decide go live in other yurts so Miss Kate Walk sleep nice in this. Huh? Okay, thank you. Oh, that's really very nice of you, Mr. Barut. Thank you so much. Hmm. I was gonna check outside, but I guess we can camp out for the night. Hope nothing happens in the middle of the night that will cause us to have to stay here. <laughs> my stuff the yukels have stored all of the things i managed to take out of the clinic that's so nice of them <laughs> even the, the old key is there <laughs> okay let's go outside oh, oh i wish i wish i wish wish what oh, oh i wish i wish i wish I wish you could go to sleep. You can't. Fire. Yeah, I have a feeling this this is the stadium we were looking for. I'll just check inside to make sure. Still long for tribe. Hmm. Children stay in you call village. Once see again soon. <laughs> Just leads back outside. Just leads back outside. Oh well, at least we arrived at a new location. Anything? Having problems there? Gravestones? Hmm. Yeah, what's going on here? Husband always want to, but me actually always stronger. We'll succeed. Uh, opening. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't, shouldn't be wondering so much, but. Uh... So I find my way back to the, the camp. I guess I'll end it. Leave the exploring of this new location for next time. Yeah, 
here. I'm, bet I'm willing to bet that something's going to happen while we're here. It's going to give us trouble. Uh, this is also a place where we uh, apparently there's some d DLC included in the game, or I'm not sure if it's included or if I have to buy it separately, but but uh, the DLC mentioned that I should only play it after I've been to Olympia Stadium. Which is where I think I've arrived at. Uh, I'm getting lost though. <laughs> Maybe I should backtrack. Am I just going all the way around this place? Or? Yeah, I think I'm gonna backtrack. <laughs> Place is a little, a little too big. I thought I thought I'd be back at the cap if I went through these gates, but doesn't seem like it. I mean, the place looks abandoned, but. Even though it's not uh, radioactive. Yeah, not much of a reason to wander around anyway. I mean, well, I'm not sure why I couldn't just sleep in the camp. Good going, Miskatwalk. Hey, what's over here? Voyage very long if we must stop so often. Bad spirits everywhere in Baranor. We're not in Baranor. Inside the stadium now. <laughs> Is this? Looks like an em empty uh, Olympic pool. Is that a map or something? Was <laughs> I keep going into these new locations. Though. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> the time to be to explore this new area will come later. And not go up here. It does feel like I'm doing some urban exploration by wandering around these empty buildings. Nice view. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand there <laughs> on top of an empty pool. Very dangerous. 
Uh, where's the front door again? I'm getting lost here. This, right? Yeah. wish I had a reason to explore this area. <laughs> like I'm looking for something or whatever. Not really. Nothing actually bad happened so far. Yeah, isn't this supposed to be the camp? I mean... It's just a place where for the ostriches. Okay, let's go back to where I came from because I, I am getting lost. Okay, what's in here? Uh... Root still long for tribe. Yeah, did, isn't this where I came from? Hang on a second. This should be the camp. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite as lost as I thought. You okay there, buddy? This kid walk no one tribe arrive other side? No. Men never ever want to help. Stubborn like old ostriches. Spirits upset, Miss Catwalk. <laughs> Is that Kurt? Hey there. Ah, Kate Walker. Oh, Kirk. Okay. How are your lodgings? Great. Thank you so much for the yurt, but I really can't stay too long. I'm exhausted. Alas, the night may well be long. But why? Hmm? Miss Kate Walker, take a look at the moon. The red moon. I didn't see it. It only very rarely enters this face, about every 20 years. Not really. The blood moon happens much more often than that, but okay. Uh, I did see the moon when, when I was looking through the... <laughs> What? Miss Kate Walker lost tongue. And I was looking through the ceiling of the of the pool area, but yeah, kind of weird that it didn't show up now. Every twenty years, like the migration, I guess. Miss Kate Walker calculate well. <laughs> it is not chance. Each migration must come here to this exact spot for the night of the red moon. Hmm. Why is it so important? The Red Moon is the time for a sacred ceremony that is very important for the Yukos. A ritual to bring the favor of the spirits upon the migration, and so to have a chance to reach the destination. Since the dawn of time, this ceremony has been held in the Temple of the Red Moon. I didn't see any temple in the vicinity. That is the problem, Miss Kit Walker. Since last migration, temple disappear. Come on, a temple can't just up and vanish like that. I mean, it could have been Unless demolished. It was buried beneath tons of concrete. Do you mean that the temple was demolished so that they could construct the stadium? Hmm. It is said that the spiritual guide of the previous migration, my predecessor in a way, found a way to save the temple. How did he do that? The guide Kantika, accompanied by a few other brave Yukals, offered to work on the site. They proved to be very able masons, mm. to the point of being able to hide our temples beneath the concrete without anyone knowing. For months, they worked at night, away from the eyes of architects and foremen. I see. Yukols worn out by hard work to save House of Spirits. But they succeeded in their enterprise, and our temple really is hidden somewhere, beneath these modern buildings. Alas, the poor people died of exhaustion. How terrible! I... I'm so sorry! 
Ti Esperitulu, Makra Henok, Bignok Vanu. With these words, the tribe pays tribute to their sacrifice. Ti Esperitulu, Makra Henok, Bignok Vanu. Temple must be somewhere here. Me tell tribe look for temple. But little help of Miss Kate Walker, not too much. <laughs> of course. Well, that explains what that thing in the pool but was. But you don't have a map or the slightest idea where the temple could be hidden? We only know that it is here somewhere, beneath tons of concrete. We absolutely must find it, Kate Walker. So, where should we start? You search on your side. We'll have a better chance of finding the temple with all of us searching. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll have we'll have to find this temple next time. <laughs> have the Yukels already started the search? Mm. Of course. We'll have to look Don't hesitate to ask if you need help. Okay, but at least we we got uh, got the conflict. We know what we have to do next time. <laughs> what exactly does the ceremony consist of? The ritual of the Red Moon is to draw the favor of the spirits onto our caravan. A purification before we can cross the border into Yakistan. It's also a very personal type of trial. It's difficult to explain the ceremony in a few words, Kate Walker. You need to experience it to understand. Okay. Are you sure Olga and the Colonel won't be able to chase us on the other side of the border? Yes, Kate Walker. Yakistan is outside their jurisdiction. Right. I'll also go take a look around. Hmm. Yeah, but won't you all be coming back as well? <laughs> okay. I guess that's why she can't really sleep. We have to perform this ritual tonight and... <laughs> Without the temple they can't do it, so yeah. We... Oh, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah, now it makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. We've been, been at it long enough. Yeah, would would be a lot one hour one hour shorter this stream if it weren't for that darn puzzle with the, well, not really a puzzle, more like a missing item that was right next to me, but I I couldn't see it because I didn't think to turn my head while looking at the controls of the of the roller co roller coaster. Actually, I might have turned around, but when I was uh when I was in the stopped at one of the locations i i remember looking around but yeah the i think the rod only showed up if i did that while at the at the stopping point at the at the or original stopping point <laughs> yeah that really set 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 the entire thing back an hour or so <sighs> but yeah like i said we're going to explore this area and trying to find their temple next time so yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking of playing the my the postponed Duke Nukem 3D stream might be tomorrow, and then we'll start a new uh, a new game a platformer called Lost Winds. I played it on on the Wii. I really enjoyed. And then this Sunday, start a new RPG. We'll be starting Ultima Underworld 2. Since I finished Star Trek Armada last time. So yeah, a couple new games coming soon. And yeah, next Tuesday, this ne Tuesday of next week, I'll be continuing this Siberia 3 playthrough. So if you want to check out any of these games, make sure to follow the channel. And if you missed my playthroughs of Siberia 1, Siberia 2, and the beginning of Siberia 3, you can check out my uh, archives on YouTube. Hope you had fun. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.